Namaste everyone. I am Dr. Namita S. from Drona Institute of Ayurvedic Studies. When we are preparing for any competitive exams, it is very important that we go through the previous year's question paper to analyze the trend of the current questions, which subjects are gaining more importance and also how to crack down these options to get your one final answer. With all these in mind, today we will go through the question paper of 2022 AAPAGT. First, let us go through the subject-wise division of the questions. Here, you can see that almost all the subjects which we have learned from our BAMS first year till the last year have been covered. Here, you can see that the Padartha, Ayurveda, Idihasa, Sanskrit, such fine uh, first-year topics have all carried one question. And the final-year subjects like Kaya Chigilsa, Panjagarma has carried more questions. But one thing you have to keep in mind that this questions coming under subjects like Prasudi is also included in Charagam uh, Sharira and Susrudam Sharira. Similarly, the questions which come under Sharangadara and Baishijya, totally we can classify it into five questions. And Bhava Pragasha this time has carried around five questions and so on. Here you can get the total list of the subject-wise division. Uh, you can also see that modern questions have carried a good importance in this year. Research and statistics, there are three questions, ophthalmology 2 and surgery, pediatrics, pharmacology and as always PSM is also very relevant. Then Ayurveda GK has carried five questions. So, the importance of that topic is also increasing. Now, we can move on to the first question of the 2022 APGT. This question comes under Padartha Vijnana. Which one of the following is not a Shabdhartha Bodhaga Vritti? The options are Tadparyakya, Shabda Vyanjana, Yaugika and Yogyada. In this question, you can see that there are two correct answers and the key has been revised to give both as correct. So the answers are Yaugiga and Yogyada. What is the hint? What, what are the Shabdhartha Bodhaga Vritti? They are Abhidha, Lakshana, Vyanchana and Tadparyakya. So your answer can be option 3 and 4. Now the next question. This is a match the following questions and throughout the question paper you can see lots of match the following questions. This comes under Ayurveda Idihasa. Here you can see some famous Ayurveda books and their authors. Charaga Upaskara, Charaga Panjiga, Jalpa Kalpataru, Nirantara Bhada Vyakhyayam. And the list of the authors on the other side. And the, what, I, what is the correct answer? Charaga Upaskara was written by Yogendra Nath Sen. Charaga Panjiga by Swami Kumar. Jalpa Kalpataru by Gangadhara Roy. And Nirantara Bhada Vyakhya by Jajada. And if you are a student of Drona Institute, I'm very sure that you can get this question with our trip, tips and tricks in under one minute. Okay, now, which is the next question? It is a Sanskrit question. Which of the following is an example of Dvanda Samasa? We have learned Sandhi and Samasa in Sanskrit and from these topics, usually one question comes. Here, Dvanda Samasa. It is also a very simple question. You can see that Pidambara, Tripala, Rajaputra and Pidaro. Which is the answer? Pidaro is the answer because it is split up as Madacha, Pidacha. Next is a statement question which is also a current trend in the question pattern. Given below are two statements. Statement 1. Test for occult blood is advised in uncontrolled type 2 diabetes patients. Statement 2. Serum creatinine examination is advised in uncontrolled diabetes, type 2 diabetes patient to check glomerular function. So what is the answer? Normally when you get two statements, both will be correct. But here you have to look carefully. The answer is statement 1 is false. Statement 2 is true. Why is it that? Because the test for occult blood in stool is done for gastrointestinal disorders like CA rectum, rectal polyps, etc. It is not used to test uncontrolled type 2 diabetes. So the answer is statement 1 is false, statement 2 is true. The next question is also 
match the following on one side you can see the dosha prakara and on the other side the sthana so what is the correct answer alojaka pitta where is it it is in the drishti shleshaka kapha is coming under all the sandhi and vyana vayu is situated in the hridaya and ranjaka pitta is situated in the yagat the next question is a modern question from the psm nutritional area which of the following vitamin promotes absorption and excretion of calcium and phosphate by the intestine here the answers are the options are vitamin a b c and d and we all know that the relationship between vitamin d and calcium right we also advise to the patients if they are lacking in vitamin d we also give them calcium tablets and so on so we all know the importance the link between calcium and vitamin d both are necessary for and phosphates also they are all necessary for the healthy functioning of your bones and teeth the next question according to susrudal samhita consider the following in koshta 36 siras are present in murda pradesha 64 siras are present in shahaka 16 siras are present in koshta 38 siras are present so if you have gone through this question before you will know that it doesn't seem right right yeah so the question was dropped because the numbers given were and the options given were wrong actually the correct answer will be in koshta there are 136 siras and in murdha there are 164 siras and in shakha there are 400 siras and that is why the question was dropped and bonus mark was given to all the people attending the exam and then eighth question is according to sisrida given below are two statements assertion and reason what is the assertion chaturde sarvanga vibhaga pravyakto bhavadi and the reason is saptame sarvanga pratyanga vibhaga vibhaga pravyakta dara bhavadi in this question you can see that first you have to note according to who it is by according to susruda and we look at the first option is it correct yes susruda has mentioned that the in fourth month all the organs will become pravyakta but uh, now let us look at the next reason saptame sarvanga pratyanga vibhaga pravyakta dara bhavadi that is also correct according to susruda but is are the reason for a no these are both two independent correct statements so our answer should be both a and r are true but r is not the explanation of a you can find these references in susradam sharira